Welcome back to my channel. This is Kira and of course Navi. Today we're going to be showing her gear and just different kinds of supplies that I like to bring when we're out like at the mall, different stores. Some of these things you do not need to have. I just prefer to have some of these things with me because every team has different supplies and gear, I guess, that they like to bring with them. So, here we go. The first piece of gear that I'm going to go over is the collar. It's Galaxy, because her name originates from the movie Avatar, and they have blue skin, and their world is basically just blue and purple and so I thought that the galaxy theme fit her best But it's not just her looks. I like to attach the leash to her collar rather than her vest and it just gives me more control over her and I just like it better than attaching it to the harness so. The next thing I'm gonna go over is the knobby backpack This currently doesn't have anything in it this is the backpack that I use when I'm going places with her. You want this? It's mango. Put it on your lips. Ready? Let's put it on your lips. Ready? Mm. This bag is what I use to carry all of her stuff and my personal stuff like I keep money in the back pouch it seems small but it's just, um, it's surprisingly very like it holds all my stuff and there's always extra room so yeah there's the inside view of the backpack there is this front pouch that I really like and this back pouch yeah you can see the money in there the next thing I'm going to talk about is leashes. I currently use two leashes. One is longer and is matching her collar, the Galaxy theme. And is, like I said, longer so I can have her leash be dangling or I can have it tight if we're in short spaces or crowded places, I should say. And I mean, it matches her collar, so I like that. She, she likes it too. There's not much else to say about this leash, it's just, it's really great, actually, because this is very um, large and sturdy compared to this one, which is not as sturdy, and I don't really trust it that much. This one I use for her harnesses, or her vests, and her collar, while I use this one for her head collar. I barely use this as a um, vest or collar leash because it's just lighter and as you can see she chewed it she's very upset I look over where at work and she's over there chewing it and so I told her no and she got so upset and I was very upset but yeah leashes this is another sort of leash thing it is actually um, an attachment that you attach to two different dog collars and then you put your leash on this so that you can walk two dogs at once. But um, when I needed her to be in close proximity to me, I would bend that over, attach it like this, and then I would attach it to her vest. Let's just pretend her collar is her vest. So that I had easy access to her. And so this really helped when I first started heel training because, like I said, she was very close to my side and so she learned that that's where she needs to be. 
and this is actually I guess a life hack because when you're first training your service dog then like it's just a good idea in my opinion and it helped a lot but I don't really use this as much since she's been heel trained but yeah I just have it just in case the next piece of gear I'm going to go over are vests. We currently have three vests. This is my personal favorite. It fits her pretty well. This is attempt number three on finding the perfect vest because I wanted something that was big enough to put patches on because she is a small dog, but I also wanted it to be handy, I guess, and I love handles on vests. I prefer them because when I am lifting her in and out of cars, because she does have difficulty uh, getting in larger cars sometimes. So I like it because I can lift this along with her stomach for extra support. And also if I need to reposition her for any reason, it's easier for me to move her using the handle on the vest rather than pull on the leash on her collar. She's like, Mama, I don't want to be near that thing. Uh, I will show you the different patches I have. is the patch that I have facing towards me because she is usually in a right heel and um, when she is doing DPT she is facing with this patch out so that people do read this so it's pretty clear what it says Handler is, if Handler is down, do not separate us, do not call 911 unless injured, and give us space. That's basic, just courtesy, just so people listen. This is the um, part of the vest that faces towards people. It states that she's a psychiatric service dog. She's also medical alert, but I do not have a patch stating that. The patch on the other side kind of mentions, or it kind of infers that I do have a medical problem. So, this other patch I recently just got, and it has actually reduced the amount of people who try to pet her because they actually read it. And it would be really funny if that picture was a pug and not a dog, like a lab or whatever that's in the picture. Did I just say dog? It would be better if it was a pug, because it's not his pug, obviously. Um, I'll show you what Navi looks like wearing the vest, so I'll insert a picture. This next vest is, I call it her summer vest, um, I just use it in emergencies. If it's hot out, then I'll use this, like if we're going to the park, then I'll usually use this because I do prefer vests over um, leashes when I am walking her, like just for fun, I guess. And it's just pretty simple. This was my attempt on getting a lighter vest than the one that I will show um, after, which has pockets and it's pretty heavy duty. So here is a picture of Navi wearing her vest. Here's a closer look at the vest. You can see it's not that much bigger than my hand. And it's a service dog on each side. Not my favorite, but it's just for emergencies, like I said. This is the third and final vest that she owns. Um, I really do like this vest. It's a bit larger than I would want, but it's very handy and it's good for cold weather because it does have a very soft inside so that it, I think it keeps her a little bit warm. So 
This one has pockets, and as you can see, it's literally the length of her. And the pockets are very helpful because that means I need um, I carry less in my backpack. But I don't really mind the weight. It's a service dog on here. But here's the top of it. It has a little handle, and I like handles. And I put a little red bow on it just because, I don't know, it made it seem a little bit feminine, I guess. The thing I like most about this vest is that it has um, a clip thing here on the front so I can control the front of her and it also has a clip on the top so it gives me two different options depending on um, where I need her focus to be so for example I would use this one if I was having a bad day and I needed her attention more on me like I'd have easier access to pull and get her to face me or just keep her in a heel but she heals anyway when i first started training her with this vest she, her heel was very bad and so i don't know i liked it better here and then the top is just for regular walking around but now that i have her newer vest the first vest i showed i don't really use it this that much so this is more of like a winter vest and like when it's really really snowy and it just I call it heavy duty here's a close-up view of this vest I forgot to mention that these patches are um, removable everything on here is velcro so I can move this patch and put it on here or I can put different patches on here that are velcro The next thing I'm going to be talking about are head collars. Head collars are basically collars that go around the head of your service dog or any dog. They help with heel training, I would say, because it definitely helped with her heel training even though she hates them. I am not the biggest fan of these because with brachiocephalic dogs, short nose, short nose dogs, it's not the best thing um this one i just got at PetSmart. it is pretty simple this goes around the neck and this goes around the nose this one is made especially for like brachiocephalic dogs like pugs bulldogs other short nose dogs because it has here let me put this it has this piece she hates this, but it's only gonna be on for a second. As you can see, this part goes over the head and this goes around her nose and it has this attachment underneath for you to clip the leash. I don't use this as much as I used to when I was first training her because she doesn't really like it that much and honestly, she's just, she doesn't need it like large snouted dogs. I definitely would use these because it does help with those large dogs pulling. I have four large dogs besides like and then I have her which is people find that kind of strange. I think it's funny actually because most service dogs are large and she's not. <laughs> And people sometimes think that she's not a real service dog because of her size and her breed. Everyone thinks, oh, snuggly, pug, silly, snorting, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, she is a purpose. And yeah, she's my best friend, but she is also a great worker. She helps me so much. So yeah, that's head collars. 
Now it's time for supplies. The first um, piece of equipment I guess I have is a portable water slash food dish and it has a carab carabiner I think it's called on it. Um, it's it's pretty easy I bring this to work I bring this I attach it to my backpack on the side um, it's very easy you just I like it because you can adjust the size of it like you can have it like that or you can have it like that so if I'm giving her water then I do this but if I'm giving her food then I usually make it like this so that she has easier access to it I usually do not give her food while we're out but if we need, if we're stuck in traffic, I guess, or if I'm eating and it's time for her to eat, then sometimes I will give her food, but this is usually just for water because you need to keep your service dogs hydrated. Big thing, when I do not see teams with, uh, like, when I don't see them with these, I'm like, how is your dog staying hydrated? because yeah you can get the water bottle technique where you just pour it and then it goes everywhere not my thing I prefer to use this the next piece of gear I have are boots yes I'm holding three I don't know where the fourth one is it's probably on the floor in my room um, her other boots are all wet since we were outside in the snow shoveling and she was just running around and so I'm just letting them dry so I'm just gonna show you these ones these were her first pair of boots that I received, I, I believe. No, I received the other ones first. But, doesn't matter. They are fluffy in the inside, so they keep her little feet warm. As you can see. And I couldn't find blue. Blue is her color. As I stated earlier, the whole Pandora world, the Avatar world, um, is blue. And so I would prefer her to have blue shoes, but it's very important to protect your dog's feet, especially when it's really cold or really hot. You don't want their little tootsies to get cold or burned. And it's just a safe thing to do. They do look a little, they walk a little wonky when they have them on first, but she adjusted to them in the first maybe half, 20 minutes, half hour that she tried them on. So. I think that's all I have to say about these guys. Boot bags! These are very important. Very important supplies. Because obviously if your dog needs to go you don't always have access to plastic bags. And these are so small and easy to uh, easy to carry. Shout out to BarkBox, that's where I got them from. And I've actually never used them because I just never had them. Um, she doesn't really go to the bathroom at all when we're out. I, I mean, I let her, I give her a chance, but she just doesn't go until we get home. She'll literally sit in the back of the car whining until we get home because she has to go to the bathroom. And we'll stop and get something to eat and I let her go, but she won't go. But these are still important and necessary piece of supplies. Bags. Medicine. I keep this on me at all times. It's not for her, obviously, it's for me. And we've been doing some retrieval um, training where I will place different items on the ground and I'll tell her to grab one and she'll grab it for me. So, in case I'm having a panic attack, she can grab me my um, anxiety medication, which is very important obviously treats I usually do not give her treats while she's working and she's not even the biggest kind of treat dog like I offer it to her now look 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 see she doesn't want it um yeah she, treats and I don't recommend using these while you're training or not training while you're out because then they'll expect you to have them but if we do have some downtime, then I will give her some treats. And I have them in an old medicine bottle because 
I have a lot of medicine and I like to reuse stuff. So I keep them in here. Isn't that right now? She's like, yeah. The next extra thing that you can bring with you is a clicker. I got this one from Potsmart. Um, I am actually probably going to return this because she doesn't, like we did, only did treat training and affection training. We never did clicker training. So when she does tasks and I do this, she's actually kind of scared of it. And that was my fault. Like I probably should have started clicker training like when she was younger. But I just have it with me because I never know. So yeah, clicker. I hear that they're great for training. I personally don't use it. But if you want them, then go on ahead if that helps you. I just carry it just in case I do need to reinforce a behavior that she's done. So, clicker. So that was all the gear and the equipment and extra supplies that I carry with me. I hope that you liked this video, and if you want to see more, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching!